are these people? We're going to read an article from Laura Kay talking about Maduro. But it's funny, you know, I got a, an alert today on my phone from, and I don't know why, why you know, I'm on the Apple, I have an iPhone, so I get like Apple news alerts. Washington Post that Nicolas Maduro has officially lost the election and they've retabulated the stuff <laughs> and, and Eduardo Gonzalez is now oh, the Juan Guaido president anointed by the United States. <laughs> Holy crap. International observers, um, tons of them were there. It was a more secure election than anything they can that's ever happened. And okay, yeah, the, again, the, all the evidence comes from Edison Research, a, a U.S. State Department, NED, USAID, CIA connected firm. That's the only one that's reporting this. But sure, and it wouldn't sure. have anything to do with Venezuela's. Reserves oil. of oil and gold, but oil. You know what, 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 what I know. We're gonna we're gonna take the oil. We're gonna get the oil. We're gonna get the oil. All right. <laughs> so our friend Laura Kay, who is the are. one of the greatest satirists of I love gold. Uh, well, and I love I love her. Oh, really? uh, I, I I love Laura. She's great. So she's one of the funniest writers there is on Substack, and most people don't know about her yet, but they should. She writes that the CIA is furious that Maduro is still Venezuelan president despite getting the most votes. Well, maybe she spoke a little too soon, but I I, I certainly hope not. Um, I, I think that there are some in the U.S. government that would hysterically like it to be that way and why we're meddling in other people's elections i still don't quite understand except that the cia doesn't like there to be an election they're not really involved in um so let's 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 make fun of the cia losing its shit and losing an election that it tried to rig for its candidate and now is trying to manufacture consent for instead because it lost so, CIA furious Maduro is still Venezuelan president. Despite getting the most votes, Venezuela is doing democracy all wrong. CIA has reacted with disappointment yep. after the world's largest oil reserves ended up with the wrong leader again. In a shock result, Nicolas Maduro has monstrously imposed himself on the people of Venezuela despite getting more votes than the other candidate. All the countries that want Venezuela's oil have called the credibility of the election into question. Remember, it's only wrong to question the outcome of U.S. elections, and a January 6th in Venezuela would be good, actually. Snarky. Not really. Not really, YouTube. We're joking. The Venezuelan Supreme Court wouldn't allow, wouldn't even allow the woman who was funded by the State Department onto the ballot, but it did allow a socialist onto the ballot. The party that rigged the primary against Bernie Sanders said, this is not how democracy is supposed to function. <laughs> yeah, the ones that anointed a, a new dictator. Thankfully, week. well, the, 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 the um, Democrats were backed by the UK prime minister who is incapable of formulating a foreign policy without speaking to the White House first. Sir Keir Starmer yeah. would like you to know that the 900 international election observers who ratified the result are all wrong and Maduro needs to be punished. A Downing Street spokesman said, quote, <laughs> He's been such a bad boy. We are going to do to this guy what we would love to do to Jeremy Corbyn. Uh-huh. One of the White House spokespeople who deny that Gaza genocide has expressed deep concern about the human rights situation over there. I'm going to read that, yeah, that line I, I, again because I just, sure. I, lo I love, I love Laura's snark and wit. And that just punches you right in the gut. One of the White House spokespeople, <clears throat> Corinne Jean Pierre, who denied the Gaza genocide, has expressed deep concern about the human rights situation over there. Maybe that's John Kirby. All right. Uh, clearly, the CIA has no choice but to export democracy before Venezuela does a trade deal with China or something. Oh, wait. We announced that on Thursday night. They are China. doing a joint venture with China. China. 
Yes, thank you. As everyone knows, the CIA has the world's best track record when it comes to exporting democracy. It magically noticed the Venezuelan elections were fraudulent the moment a result it didn't like was announced. Actually, they noticed it a month before and said they were going to call it fraudulent beforehand. It then accused Maduro of meddling in the election process, something the CIA would never do. It's never, ever done that before. Nope. If the CIA's candidate won, these elections would have been totally legit and proof that Venezuelans were ready to embrace being a satellite state. As it stands, people need to be punished. I mean, liberated for not letting the CIA choose their leader. Everyone can see. All this talk of punishment. Oh, my goodness. It's like a Fifty Shades of Grey novel. Jesus Christ. I mean, I'm just saying. <laughs> you know? Well. Like, what, are they going to tie up democracy next? What are we... You know what I mean? They just might. Well, (laughs) everyone can see that the guy who attracted crowds of tens of thousands of adoring fans is much worse than the alternative of death squads slaughtering union leaders and activists, right? The U.S. wants what's best for Latin America, which is why it only installs the nicest puppets, (laughs) such as General Augusto Pinochet and Janine Añez, right? They're great. Juan Guaido. Let's not forget Juan. He's my favorite. CIA is still Juan. sad. Well, oh, the oh, Juan. Oh, poor Juan. I think he's already he's he's already still offering to be president right now. Mm. CIA oh, is Venezuela, man. That's nice of him. Again, CIA is still <laughs> sad. Serve a second term. <laughs> Unreal. I it, it this is real life, dude. I. CIA is still sad after it failed to save the Bolivian people from democracy. I mean, this dictatorship. So now it's looking forward to getting it right this time. Juan Guaido is, like I said, excited. This could finally be his moment. Fingers crossed. Everyone in Venezuela just said, who the fuck is Juan Guaido? But if you don't support the CIA's puppet, I can only assume you hate democracy. Definitely. Socialism, of course, collapsed the I mean, Venezuelan... I definitely hate democracy. Well, we all do. I, that's that's right. Um, yeah. But socialism, we know, collapsed the Venezuelan economy. Just, just ask Donald Trump. The moment the oh, U.S. Wait. started its well-meaning sanctions that killed 40,000 people. All Venezuelans va- fondly remember the days before socialism when neoliberalism kept them much, much poorer, and they're desperate to return to that. Oh, man. (laughs) Well, CIA, therefore, is keen to observe, to encourage Venezuelans to riot and pretend Maduro is murdering them, so it has an excuse to intervene. Violent crackdowns on rioters are unacceptable unless they're taking place in the U.S., which, in which case, what else else would we do? Well, yeah, well, she wrote this before that happened today. (laughs) Yes, I'm sure she would include if that was happening. I'm sure she would. But she says, uh, of of all of the people who mildly disapprove of Biden's genocide, but vote Democrat anyway, agree that Nicolas Maduro is exactly where they draw the line. This man is much worse than any U.S. leader, even Trump. And he needs to be overthrown. Authoritarian (laughs) socialist I saw today. I almost spit a drink out. His His crimes include surviving CIA assassination attempts, demanding that Israel stop its genocide and not letting Western companies plunder the world's largest oil reserves. Another one that was funny was a moment from Thursday night on Politically Homeless when um, Himbo brought a a video. Somebody's claiming that, again, this is from like an Orinoco thing, but it was was clearly a CIA front organization run by Trot. And they were saying that, you know, Maduro is a capitalist because he made a deal with Chevron and that they're not completely socialist. So therefore he's a capitalist and he's a problem. Um, Authoritarian too. Right. Again, first thing they mentioned was oil. Then they call Maduro a a capitalist, but they're totally not connected to the CIA. Okay. Anyway. um, Yeah. Well, Maduro even spoke of invading Guyana once and, Talking about an invasion is much worse than actually 
doing one, fucking warmonger. Yep. We love Laura K. We love Normal Island News. They're one of the best substacks out there. NormalIslandNews.co. Hold on. No. Love's a strong word. I don't know if I'm ready for that commitment yet. Oh, no. I'm okay. I'm beyond committed. I think committed. we're just friends right now. No, <laughs> no. I think, I think you might just be dating. Oh, she didn't even put her name in there that she tagged it. Sometimes they do that. But uh, Laura wrote it clearly. It's it's her her snark, and only she can write like that. Normalisland.co.uk because she wants to live on a normal island and report normal island news. And this is certainly normal island news. Um, so yeah, mm. support independent media. Support Laura K. She she does co she has Kofi. So you can go hook her up with Kofi. I don't think she even is set up with a um, paid subscriptions on Substack itself. I think she doesn't like Stripe. I don't blame her. Do do do. That's right. On a Substack. Do 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 do. We support independent media. We are totally user funded. We really appreciate the people that hang out in chat. They are the people that make this network and this channel what it is. And without you guys, we don't really exist. I mean, we we do. We would do this even if it was just us. We started out just us, but man, we really need we need all that that support that you can give us. So we we really appreciate that. We got that QR code up there. Uh, we talked about this last week, but we're gonna have uh, the Zago brothers create some cartoon art. They they started. They've gotten already about fifteen indie media award honorees. They had done on this poster called Truth Tellers. Hey, how about that? IndieMediaAwards.substack.com. You can see the whole list. But um, those are the best of the best in independent media. From live streamers to journalists to outlets and video creators, we have a list with all of their links and ways to find and support them. And we're going to do something special this year. We teamed up with Zago Brothers to uh, create cartoon illustrations of each Indie Media Award honoree and even some people to represent some of the outlets we were trying to figure out what to do. And uh, that's going to be a lot of fun. And uh, so that's what the Q the QR code and the Kofi is going to go towards is uh, is supporting that with, with Zago and paying him for, for his time and for his work. 